Hello everybody, it's Tommy and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be building with the brand new pack that just came out, uh, Sims 4 Moschino stuff. And I'm probably saying that wrong and I don't particularly care too much because I'm going to be very honest and say that this is probably my least favorite pack that we have ever gotten. I'm going to take a little bit of this video to talk about some of the reasons that I'm not particularly in love with it. But this is the first build that I am doing with this pack. So today we're going to be building a factory converted apartment. And you'll notice in the top left hand corner I actually wrote like cyberpunk apartment. So this was going a completely different direction and just ended up going um, the total opposite of that at one point or another. So I was using old factories as reference for doing this, but a lot of this was actually just out of my head and whatever felt right at the time. And I rarely, rarely go into a build as blind as I did for this one. I didn't even have like an actual photo that was one particular photo I was using for the exterior. It was a lot of matching some various things together. So this was, I think I called it on the gallery, like an old candy factory. And it has been obviously converted into some kind of an industrial lofted apartment. There is actually two bedrooms on the lot, one of them being a little bit smaller. The other one is the lofted bedroom upstairs. And then there is also a huge area for an office. So one of the big things about the Moschino stuff pack is that they added a freelance career and I believe it's freelance photographer. So I wanted to create an area that was useful for something like that. So in the second building that we're going to build off to the side, any moment here, there is going to be like an entire area for an office for a freelance fashion photographer. And one of the big items that comes with the pack is like these clothing racks. So it seemed like it all kind of fit together. You get some cameras, you have some of the stuff from Get Famous to go with it, and it all kind of flows uh, pretty naturally together. So obviously that could be converted into many things. You could do it as like a an office in general. Um, I was thinking it might be a good space for like a YouTuber office if you wanted to have it something like that. So very versatile. A really, really pretty home. I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. Going in so blind, I usually kind of run out of ideas, but what I did for this one in particular was get a lot of photos of like things that I liked aesthetically and then recreated some of them in like the corners of the home and doing like accent walls and stuff like that. So like I said, it's a big mix match of things together, but I'm actually very, very happy with how it turned out. And of course we're building in San Myshuno from City Living, which makes a lot of sense. And I did want to do it as a penthouse on the top of like an apartment complex, even though, you know, you would probably see a factory more so like on the ground. It just looks so pretty at nighttime with all of the lights of the city and everything to kind of accent and complement all of the colors. So it just made sense to build it up here and do something very aesthetically pleasing and intricate and industrial like that. So like I said, Moschino stuff. Okay. The reason that I think I am so underwhelmed by this pack is that I feel like everything it comes with is something we already have. So the big thing that gets added with this, I would say like the main staple that people are excited about is the freelancer photographer career. But we already have freelancing and we already have photography. So you could already in a certain kind of way do that? Is it going to be necessarily like a career with challenges and things like that, that you have to accomplish? No, but you could definitely already do some kind of a career like that in The Sims without this pack. You don't need it. The creative sim items are super what I described as like niche, meaning that they are super stylized. And obviously this is based off of a clothing brand. So I was expecting something like that, but they are just a little bit out there and they go so well together, but they don't really go with anything else to a point where I think if your Sims were walking around with some of these items in game, it would look out of place. Obviously there are exceptions. One of them is the leather jacket that you get. It's nice. Um, we already have leather jackets. That's why I'm confused because it seems like a lot of the things we already have them so it felt a little bit unnecessary and then the build and buy which is why I of course purchased the pack and in my opinion nine times out of ten I would say 
almost all of the stuff packs are worth the $10 if you're a builder because it's just always so nice to have those one or two extra items and although this might sound like a little expensive to some people in my opinion like a couple of items is worth one dollar so if you get closer to like between 25 30 items with the pack you kind of made your money but when I opened this pack up and I didn't watch any reviews before doing so so I think that that was the one of the things that definitely surprised me as well I was just surprised by the lack of items first of all this being one of the most recent stuff packs that we have gotten I don't think we have had one in over a year when the last one released was my first pet stuff and I don't actually mind my first pet stuff. Let me preface that first of all. I think that it's not worth $10. It's one of those ones where I would never, ever, ever encourage anybody to pay full price for it, especially if you don't have cats and dogs because you are losing some items when you purchase it. However, with this pack, I don't think I've ever opened a pack and like gone through all of the items and gone through all of the pieces of it and been so disappointed so quickly. Like 100% just felt like I wasted money and was disappointed that I paid full price for it, was disappointed that I paid $10. Really, really wish I had waited till it gone went on sale. It's just missing like a couple of things. Like if it had a couple more items, I think I would be okay. But the problem is, is that the last stuff pack we got before my first pet stuff was laundry day. And laundry day is arguably the favorite of all packs. So laundry day is like, it's huge. It comes with so many items. The colors are beautiful. The, all of the objects that come in laundry day are very unique and they are not really like clones of anything else that we already have in the game. So if you don't have laundry day, it makes a big difference in your game and in like even just the mechanic of doing laundry is a huge thing that you don't get obviously without the pack. Whereas for this one, you kind of get this even if you don't have the pack. So it was definitely very confusing to me that people were even very like excited for the freelancer photography career because it's like we already kind of have something like that. We we have the freelancer career period it was available in a free update and then a lot of like photography equipment and things like that was added with get famous so if you have get famous especially it's it's just not worth it in my opinion so to fall back on everything I was just hoping that the build and buy mode catalog was substantial and when I opened it up it was not it's missing a few items a lot of the stuff that it comes with is just things that we already have that just they look different now um, it's not stuff that I will probably use on a regular basis. Like I would say my favorite, favorite thing in the whole pack is obviously the windows. Are the windows worth $10? No, obviously not. And the big thing about the windows, and this is just like a little tiny nitpick, but it's also kind of not, is that usually when you get a new set of windows, they will also include a matching door. They did this time around, but the door is not the same height as the windows on one side. And I continuously wonder why they do stuff like that because I know I'm going off a little bit here and it's sounding really, really negative, but I just feel like I need to speak on this because I'm not normally one that is very negative about some of the packs. Like one of my biggest things is when they reskin stuff and sell it for, um, you know, a new price, but you're basically paying for the same item. And that's what I feel like this pack is just essentially that even the couches, it's like this modern slash slightly retro furniture that feels like vintage glamour stuff and um, bowling stuff had a baby. And I'm not impressed with it. It feels like stuff we already have. It's just all things I could go without. And I feel like most people could go without, whereas some of the other stuff packs, they really do add something that is very unique and very niche and has like a category. This is just an extension of city living, essentially, or very particular realm, but it just feels like leftovers in that kind of way. Like maybe things that were not originally included in those other packs and now have been included in this one, with obviously the exception of these beautiful windows that I am very, very happy with. Um, and some of them come open partially, which is great. That is something we so need is like more windows that are slightly open. And, you know, paired with the update of the roofing where we now have the glass roofing and then you have the skylights that are available from Island Living. If you have all of those packs, they really all pair super nicely together. And of course, we obviously additionally just had the update where the new items from Edit World Objects was added. So you can get some cool stuff like I have placed the water tower on the top of this to give it that factory vibe and all of that. 
But yeah, guys, I'm just not impressed with it. I'm, I'm unimpressed and underwhelmed and slightly disappointed. I expected more from this being like such a late to the game stuff pack and the fact that this hasn't been here. We haven't had one for over a year. So it feels like it should have knocked my socks off and it didn't. It's missing like 10 items, I feel like, to really bring it and it needed to be like 10 unique items. So overall, really, really like low score, like probably my least favorite stuff pack to date. And yes, I am ranking. Uh, my first pet stuff above it because I feel like I use my first pet stuff. I love the fish tank coffee table. I love the hamsters for like any kid or toddler. I love that they gave like a couple of different options. You can have the hamsters and I think there's a couple of different other animals. I love the curtains. No, not curtains, blinds that it comes with. I use those regularly. And then for any type of children's room, I just find that the furniture fits really well and I'm constantly like searching for more children type items for that reason. So I actually really like that pack. Like I said, don't pay full price for it, but this same scenario, I wouldn't pay full price for this either. I would definitely wait until they put it on sale and I really am hoping that this is not the new standard of stuff packs, if I'm being completely honest. I could see myself skipping on some of them in the future if this is what they're going to look like because they're just not worth the price. It's not substantial enough, especially when the items feel like they are stuff from other packs with new skins on them. That really bothers me and I've thought about making a video before where I talk about and kind of point out how many times that gets done and I'm not so sure if everybody notices this or if it is something that is noticed but nobody really talks about it but it is pretty common for a new pack to come out and for us to get one or two items that already existed but they just put a new skin over the top of them in order to add that extra thing to the pack and give it a little bit more but they don't have to recreate like a totally new mesh which I get but for an entire pack to come out and feel that way to me, like it is just an accumulation of other things from different packs, that really bothers me. And I have a theory about the door as to why it doesn't work with the windows, why it's not the same height as those round windows. I'm not sure. This is speculation. This is not fact. But my theory as to why the door is not the same height is because that is a door that we already have in game that they have reskinned. I think we already have a sliding glass door or two. I'm not totally sure. This is just something that I concocted in my head as to maybe an explanation because I think that's the biggest thing is like, I don't understand why they would put out a door that doesn't meet the same height as the window because it doesn't match if you do that. Like they don't go together well. Other doors go together better with it. And it does fit on one side, but the other side is just not as tall. So I'm very confused. But my theory is that that door is a door we already have that comes from a different pack and they just redesigned it really quickly. And that's why it's not the same height because it was never created to originally match those windows anyway. Those windows are like brand new. They are probably a new mesh that was like totally redesigned and recreated and they needed a matching door and they needed to do it quickly. So they just took one they already had and put a matching skin on it. That is a theory. I cannot stress that enough, but that would make sense to me why it didn't match. Uh, and those are the things that bother me. So I'm going to stop talking about the pack now. I am not going to be putting too many videos out around Moschino stuff. It just, there is nothing to say other than everything that I have. Uh, on Twitter, I gave it a rating. I think I even rated it here on YouTube. I said like four out of 10. Uh, continuing to play with it, continuing to build stuff. It's even lower, like three out of 10, two out of 10. It's just so unnecessary. Uh, really, really honestly wait for a sale. That is my true honest opinion. I don't think I've ever been so honest with a pack. Usually I am. I am pretty honest with 99% of the packs, but I'm just so unimpressed with this. I cannot give it a lower rating in my head. So yeah, the items are beautiful. What actually comes with the pack is beautiful. I love the rack of clothing. I will probably use that one frequently. I will use the windows frequently. It's missing a matching bed as well. I don't understand why there wasn't a bed that came with it. It kind of fits this whole vibe of everything. And maybe even a kitchen counter. I know that seems so out of place for maybe like this pack, but everybody is doing these industrial builds right now. It's really what the pack feels like. It feels very industrial. So it just kind of makes sense that they would maybe add a couple of things that 
work into that theme that go throughout the entire house like a bed to match with that wardrobe slash clothing rack that does work as a wardrobe by the way it actually you can change your clothes there so it is kind of like a dresser a mirror or two like I was expecting a mirror but I wasn't expecting the comic pop art one I'm just very confused I am happy with the actual uh, painting that we got. It comes in a couple of different swatches. There's one big one that I'm going to use in this build that I love, love. I love when they take multiple paintings and put them together into one. That is one of my favorite things. And a couple of clutter items. I would have obviously liked more some things for the freelancer photographer career, like maybe a couple of different cameras, a vintage camera, anything. I don't know, guys. I'm just totally unimpressed. These are the couches and the chairs and the coffee table from the pack. They all work really nicely together. I just feel like it looks like custom content too, does it not? It looks like um, things that I've used in the past to build with custom content, like things that have already been created in the community. So in that regard, you really don't even need it because if you install CC, uh, I know for a fact that there are already couches and chairs that look like this uh, available custom content. So yeah, but I'm happy with this apartment. I am putting out one more speed build definitely that has a lot of these same elements and I'm going to be using Moskimo stuff, um, Moskino stuff inside, I think, interiorly. Um, we're going to do like a steampunk Japanese apartment, futuristic kind of. And I don't know if I'm going to be building anything else particularly with this pack, but I'm going to try to put another speed build out this week to round off the week. But yeah, the big features about this that I wanted to make sure I included, it is obviously a factory converted. So I wanted it to have some random elements inside that made sense for, you know, maybe it was something where they took over this, they purchased the building, but there were elements that couldn't be removed, like the giant metal bars that we have in the middle of the living room and the ones that are on the accent neon wall. Things that might have additionally been added, like I don't know in particular if this skylight room would have been something that was originally a part of the factory, but it definitely could have been, you know, for extra lighting or an office space perhaps. So just redecorated, reimagined. There are random pipes and random signs all over the place. Ones that are like do not enter or like hazard. And then um, those random pipes that we have from city living that clip to the walls, put those kind of here and there sporadically as again, things that probably couldn't have been removed when they purchased the building and wanted to redesign it. Um, and then the building itself has this giant white sign on the outside, which again was used or taken from some of the factories that I was using for reference. And then I just kind of carried that sign inside around different places uh, to mark the walls, kind of like they're spray painted, like you had maybe stenciled in like a beautiful white sign on top of the gorgeous brick that we have. And then I think a couple of I don't know, skylights, you know, random things here and there. Bring a lot of natural light in. This is a really, really pretty view. Obviously, you're way up in the top of San Myshuno, so you want to be able to see everything. I wanted to open it up, do lots of these gorgeous windows that we got with the pack, and do lots of lighting. Um, so one of my, all of the screenshots, I believe, are taken at nighttime because I just love the way that it looks overall. But yeah, it's just a really, really pretty loft either way. And I did have a lot of extra space around the outside of this. So I ended up just going around and kind of clearing that off with grass and some trees to close it off a little bit more, but it's still there available. Um, you know, for extensions, you want to put something else over there, but I just felt like it really did itself uh, with what we have here. So I wasn't going to add too many extra elements off to the left or right and distract from that, especially because we do have this sort of, um, it is two buildings connected by a walkway, which we are going to go over and decorate the other two buildings in a moment here. But this is the major bedroom for the freelancer photographer. And I ended up using a bed, I believe from city living. And then again, the coffee table. And those are the beautiful wardrobe that we got with this pack. It's like a hanging clothes rack. And then you've got some shoes on display and things like that. And like I said, those do actually work as actual dressers. So you can go over and click on them and change your outfit. I believe the same way you would like any other dresser. And yeah, just keeping it rather simple in here. There was less room than I probably would have wanted. And one thing you might notice is that I removed the stairs downstairs in order to do the neon accent wall. And I totally forgot to put the stairs back, even to the point where I was taking screenshots and completely forgetting that I had moved the stairs outside in front of one of the buildings. Uh, and I had to go back in and completely re-edit all of the screenshots for the stairs and everything. So I do put those back. They do end up working and continuing to make this like 
a loft. I was going to do a full loft with an open wall, but I figured that originally this was probably an office or another part of the actual factory itself. And it might not have been open, but one of the big themes with like industrial apartments is having windows interiorly uh, so that you can see in between rooms and things. So I wanted to carry that idea over and use tons and tons of these windows for all of the natural lighting, but I tend to cover them with some kind of a curtain on sides where people would be able to see in. Like if they were coming up the stairs, you would definitely be able to see right into the room. So I did try to cover it, give some privacy with the windows um, on those sides, but on the opposing sides where you have like the windows that are a lot higher, I didn't feel like the curtains were necessary and really just takes away from the beauty of the windows. So uh, you get a lot of natural lighting in this build, if nothing else. And then just pairing it off with a lot of city living stuff because it all kind of matches. Oh, another thing that I really do love about this pack is these lights. They're like light bars and they are abstractly placed, all kind of slanted. I do love those. I think they're so unique and we need more stuff like that in the game. And I was very, very happy to see those available. I do wish they came in a couple more colors. That's another theme <laughs> with this pack that I'm not super impressed with is uh, it's everything's black, white, red, yellow. And that's great for the pack. It just would work so much better with other packs if we had a couple more options, like some pinks and some, a couple of them do come in pink actually. Um, but you know what I mean? Like maybe just a couple more colors, greens and in between blues, not like the bright, bright blue. Uh, so just my opinion. Um, and then we are working on the office downstairs. So this is actually, you would have to go outside and then there is one door that leads into this all the way down the stairs. And it's just an office area for a photographer. You've got the area set up where you can actually just walk right in, start taking photos. That is the majority, I would say, of what the pack actually comes with are these what do you call them, like green screens or backings for photography. And then you have a couple of lights and you have the camera stand and the camera. Again, I do wish there was a couple more cameras that you could have to place on top of the camera stand. There are some other lights that we get with Get Famous. So I ended up replacing one of the lights in there with those just so you could see like the diversity. Like we already do have some items that are very similar to that in game. You don't need these ones. And then there is a different available green screen, one that kind of clips together. And the one thing that I think a lot of people are very excited about is it's just these pieces of screen that clip together and you can make scenes with them and change the background. It's really great for what it is. It's really great for photography. I'm not going to use it. You guys know I'm not a game player. So I never purchase stuff packs with the expectation for it to be major on the gameplay anyway, just because the nature of the pack, it is a stuff pack. So I am expecting stuff, but it does come with that. If that is something that you are a game player, you love photography, this is something you wanted, then that is going to bring the value of the pack up for you, obviously. Um, not so much for me. And then additionally, as kind of the last portion, wasn't really sure what to do with this room, but ultimately I decided there was a couple of things for Moschino stuff I hadn't used yet. So one of them being the bookshelf, one of them being that mirror that kind of looks like something out of a comic book. And I wanted to cram it in here, give a little bit more di diversity to the lot so that you could have a couple of Sims living here as roommates and apartment complex. You really could fit three Sims here total with this room and then the two bedded, the double Sim bed on the other side. So that is pretty much going to round out the build. There are a couple of really nice screenshots at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you didn't mind my little rant about Moschino stuff, but I got to be honest with you guys and I wanted to give you my opinion on it. So um, yeah, I will have more speed builds out the remainder of the week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon below to turn on post notifications so you can get updated every single time I post and I will talk to you all in the next one.